This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest in myself, Kevin Davis. We are Music Love Life. Welcome. It's freezing. It's not freezing. In Atlanta. It's it's it is cold 32 shit. degrees. So it's freezing. It's supposed to get to 26 literally. tonight. It's literally. 26, 26 degrees. That's below freezing. You so, may want to leave your pipes, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we have a show? We're still a show? <laughs> I didn't know we were still a show. It's been a long time. Yeah. Shouldn't left you. You know what? I was expecting the 50th episode to be like this, like marching band. Is this the 50th episode? Strippers. It is. Really? It's so yeah. anticlimactic because we've been is. gone so long. Nobody's even going to know we we're back a yet. build up. There was no build up. Oh, well, we had Thanksgiving. We did. I, I went, actually, I went home to, um, well, I went back to uh, the place where I spent most of my formative years. I went to Oklahoma. I spent time with my elementary school friends. It was a wonderful thing. Elementary school? Yeah. How like do you still know this? Facebook? What? No, I mean, we went to elementary, then middle school, then high school. Uh, Facebook? No. I still know them because we still talk. Y'all still hang out and stuff? What? Well, not hang out, but talk, text. Yeah. How, how, who's, who's changed? Like, do people change or are they pretty much the same? People are pretty much the same. That's only in Oklahoma, though, I think, right? But I'm not be. in Oklahoma, and I'm the same. Well, I mean, so you came to Atlanta, but you're a woman. If you had been a man, you'd probably been like a homosexual when you went back and all that what? kind of... What? People come here to be yeah. gay. Yeah. People yeah. come I here like they're like their whole life Oklahoma. They were like, you know what I'm saying? I think a lot of guys came here Freaknik. If I can do it yeah. anywhere, I can do it <laughs> I there. Think, I think a lot of guys came here for Freaknik, and they saw lots of beautiful women, and they wanted to stay here. But Freaknik wasn't... Um, it wasn't just Atlanta people, though. So you No, I'm saying people come from other places to Atlanta for Freaknik and then said, oh, I'm going to move to Atlanta. Right, but everybody who's at Freaknik is not from Atlanta. So that'd be... I understand. Oh. You know what? That, that actually, it's, it's weird that you put it that way because that means that being gay is someone's dream. It is. Well, I think being able to be free is someone's dream. Free being gay. Being able to be gay and be, free, and be, be accepted and be Yeah, out but of the in closet. this context, free and gay are interchangeable. Tomato, potato. What? It's not tomato. You say tomato, I say potato. That's not the same thing. It's <laughs> the same idiot. thing. Right, the, yeah. It's not the same yeah, thing. Yeah, those no. are different. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not. But, I mean, that's that's a good point. I mean, I you know, that's I do think that Atlanta offers people. I think it offers you the ability to not only be free with your sexuality, but also, I mean, anything that you want to do. I mean, this is the place where it can happen. You can build a company. You, I think. I think the people you can get, say that you have a company, even if you don't. Well, yeah, but the same thing. Yeah, getting pussy. You, if you have the company, or if you kind of have the company, you you can still tell women, "Oh, I got a business that don't doing this or whatever." You can. But honestly, though, I think it also is kind of um, it tricks you. Because in Atlanta, there are a lot of black people with money, and this is what we talk about all the time. You right. go to some other places, and black people just aren't. They don't look like they're doing as well as no, they are here. That, yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, so I went back to Oklahoma. I had so much fun. I had I enjoyed my friends, but there is a huge difference. There was no, <laughs> there, nobody was pulling up in a Maserati. Like I mean, it just doesn't. That's not happening there. Like much there's more businesses, humble. but they're you know they're they're working people and they're they're mm-hmm. they're not even excited about right social media. Like there was no social <laughs> media posting. Good. Like we were actually taking pictures. Just to have them in our phones, not to post immediately. <laughs> yeah, like, like a real camera. <laughs> it wasn't a real camera, but it was like they. I mean, I think there was some posting later, but it wasn't automatic like here. I, I was the only one that kept going live. They were like, "What is she doing? She's going live." Live? <laughs> That's on TV. <laughs> no one is like you. That. Do make oh. it sound like you were on Little House on the Prairie. Like, God no, damn! Was, That's on it, TV right mm-hmm. now. No, That's not I talk. enjoyed. I I had a great time. I really enjoyed my friends. What's crazy about Atlanta is if oh, middle of the line rich or expensive cars that can be anybody. But like you see a Rolls Royce, like top of the line Rolls Royce or a top of the line right. Maserati, it's always a black person. It, in Atlanta. Every single time mm-hmm. you you would expect that it'd be mostly white people, but not in Atlanta. In Atlanta, in ten times out of ten, if it's like the extreme top of the line Bentley or Rolls Royce or whatever, it's always a black person. I've well, seen some white people in Bentley trucks and I stuff haven't. like. I well, no, I did see a white man in a Bentley truck. I did. Yeah. But I, at my Thanksgiving dinner, 
someone had a camo Ferrari. That was here. Yeah. Yeah. He was black. He was black. He was black. Yeah. He was probably wearing something camouflage too. He had something on that was oh, camouflage. He had his, some ripped jeans. His underwear is probably red camouflaged. shoes though. <laughs> I don't know what kind Definitely of shoes. Definitely had red shoes. But it was a camo Ferrari. Yeah. Well, that's 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 nigga shit. <laughs> that is such nigga shit. <laughs> You know what that is? That's like I got a Ferrari, but I don't even give a fuck. I'm about to do anything to this Ferrari. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just like, right? Uh, I guess they've gotten rich people have gotten past the point where they just want to show off the fact they have a Ferrari. You've seen one before, but they, never like this. No, it's like now I want to show you how I don't even give a fuck about this Ferrari. I'm about to put some camouflage paint on it. I think it's really like I'm about to make this dope. It's probably a wrap too. You they really feel like it's good. Yeah, I think it's wrap, but I think that they want to make it. Like I don't think they thought this is not a good idea to do to this car. It's like this they is gonna dope. love me at the Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Wait till I got this bitch. But the Bentley truck is very anticlimactic, though. I expected it to be more. It's pomp well, and circumstance. It's well built. I guess. I mean, so is a Honda Pilot. Mm. True. I mean, okay, so a Honda Pilot will run for 700,000 miles, but it's going to be clunking and clunk, 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 by my mile 300. You know what I'm saying? But whereas that Bentley truck, it, you, it's going to, like, the shit is so well built. You have to pay for it to keep it maintained. Right. But and you the, would never put 700,000 miles on a Bentley never. truck. But you could. You could probably drive a Bentley, a Bentley really? engine through a, a, a no, water I storm. No, better is the difference. Could you? You can do it in a Honda Pilot, <laughs> but in a... Bentley truck. He better be able I to. Better be able to. <laughs> but no I ain't one does do that it. though. Right, who no who does. actually puts miles? Because the upkeep is so ridiculous that who puts miles in a Bentley truck? I wonder how many miles a gallon it gets. Like ten, seven, <laughs> like seven to ten. Yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's what sucks. I mean, that's what sucks. A lot of things. I I can't imagine who. I, hey, it is what it is. Who has the Bentley truck? So was the food good? I mean, oh, the food was amazing. Okay. The food was amazing. Ferraris and stuff pulling up. You would think that it would be. Was it catered? Like no, no, it was homemade from the heart. Oh, really? There the were soul. like slaves uh, like, serving like you. A potluck. <laughs> no, not a potluck. One person did the entire thing, and they were they. The food was amazing. Okay, the food was amazing. I, and you know what? I thought to because I love dressing. That's like my favorite thing. I really wish that we could eat dressing all year round. You can. No. Yeah, it's called Piccadilly. You can't oh, oh. <laughs> you can't because you'll be huge. I mean, who who can eat <laughs> wet bread over and over and over again? When wet you say it like that, I don't bread. I never wanted dressing before, but no one wants to eat wet bread, but that's that, kind of what it dressing is. is delicious. It is delicious. I love it. It's my favorite thing. It's my favorite thing. I had no dressing. Between you dressing, don't have any dressing? Between dressings and mac and cheese, it's like I don't do mac and cheese, you but can, you don't have dressing? But you don't what, what do you mean what do you mean you don't do that was mac non black? But what do you mean you cheese. don't do mac and cheese? I don't cheese? eat cheese, period. So, so no. when you get a cheeseburger, no I don't dairy? do a cheesy delight. No. Cheeseburger, you, you, no you cheese. Do you do vegan? I don't, it's called a hamburger. <laughs> no, it's not. It's called a hamburger. No, it's not. Who eats a hamburger? A what, are you, what are you, Popeye? Who eats a hamburger? <laughs> no, his name wasn't Popeye. I can't remember his name. But I'm like, who is that? No, uh, I'd rather pay, I'd, I'd pay I you gladly, Tuesday. I'd gladly, gladly yeah. pay you on wimpy. Tuesday. Yes, yes, yeah, wimpy. wimpy. Fucking wimpy. wimpy. Whatever. Wimpy Jordan. <laughs> Whatever, guys. Whatever. So did you guys cook? Did you did you aid in the cooking? I don't cook. What do I you did. do? I eat. You did? Eat. <laughs> I'm not the cook in my house. What do you do? Actually, I cook salmon. Okay. I cook salmon. Um, oh, you had the alkaline Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah I also did vegetables, so too. So yeah. metro. <laughs> yeah, what did, happens on the alkaline Thanksgiving? Like, what do you have? Salmon instead of turkey? Quinoa. Oh my God! Now, I mean, Jerk. I what mean, to the... be to be real, that's not because the salmon is an alkaline. So what is the, oh, ju- the ju- salmon the, is an alkaline? The no. jackfruit. Did you have jackfruit? That would I. You know, I couldn't find any jackfruit. Oh my! Must have all been I sold out. Find any jackfruit? Must have I did, been. I did all the vegan Thanksgivings that were happening <laughs> yeah. across the city. Well, I went to this thing called Village Market ATL, and there was a guy in there. I can't. His actually, his name was Gray, and he was singing. The song that uh, Shirley Caesar did, uh, you know. Hold my mule. Green, bean, banana, banana. Oh. Um, yeah, they were so oh, serious oh. about not having the lamb, beef. To, I mean, they they just are, ve- the vegans are very angry at the meat eaters. Mm. Like, they're very livid. I didn't know that it was such a difference between us, but they were just like, I ain't messing with that. 
lamb, turkey. Blah, like, I mean, they well, you really have to reprogram yourself. You really do. Well, like, it, it takes it. constant reinforcement. They have done it. You're you're left especially out if you're a person who has in like Thanksgiving is 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 a tough time. I would think so. Thanksgiving is a tough time especially. for anyone who li- who eats a strict diet. Especially with that Whatever, Popeye's No matter turkey. what it is. <laughs> that like, Popeye's turkey? Yeah. That Popeye's turkey is amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. Like I had you, one as well. You, you, tempt, you may not eat it anywhere else, but at home? And on Thanksgiving. When your grandmama cooking or your mama cooking? And you cannot tell your grandma no. Hey, man. I wish you would tell your grandma no, you, I'm vegan. Did you did, did you tell your family you don't do that anymore? Like you, you eat alkaline? They already know, but I mean, for they Thanksgiving know. though, but I'm Thanksgiving, spreading. Though. I'm spreading the alkaline amongst them. Are like, you? But on slowly but surely, but on I will convince them all one by one. I will bring them to I me. I will. You're like the Grinch of Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> yes. So what, I will make them all eat healthy. What did you? Oh, every day, every day. <sighs> so what did you guys eat on Thanksgiving that was alkaline? Um. Black, uh, wild rice, wild rice, vegetables, of course, your zucchini, your squash, your your tomatoes. Potatoes. Mm. See? Greens. You no, said too, potatoes. potato, tomato. She was about potato, to Potato, tomato. Yeah. No, I mean, it's the, the song, it's, greens, beans, potatoes. Oh. I caught the reference. I thought you were saying, you say tomato, I say potato. No, no, no. no. Mm. Was there any yeah. gravy? Any, any gravy? On maybe, maybe some beet juice gravy. Just gravy, the gravy. Beet juice gravy. <laughs> well, you know when you actually when you saute a little bit, He's when you saute peppers and onions, uh-uh. you do kind of get a little sauce in there, which is yeah, you uh, that work. <laughs> Put it on that your quinoa, work. sprinkle it on your quinoa. Mm-hmm. Okay, that doesn't sound like a fulfilling dinner at all. It mm-hmm. feels like something you would just like, you know. So we ate, and then we all had to sit down and let it like settle. And then we got up and we went in for our desserts. Like you have to let it, the food take make its way down to a comfortable place. It doesn't seem like that would happen with the it wild rice. You don't even feel that you ate. Like <laughs> I'm still hungry. Like, I feel light I as a feather. Plate. But you know what? Because see, not everybody is doing it. So I ate I ate that and then there was still like my brother fried two turkeys. There, we that's still, what I'm talking there we about. Go. Yeah, like. Itis. Yeah. There we go. My, my so girl made oxtails. Like, you were the only one awake. <laughs> Most times That's That wouldn't be a new thing You know you, Oh man Definitely on mm. this show You're the only one awake yeah. <laughs> Well it was good though It That's was good. good I'm looking forward to Christmas Already I mean what else is there we're, Christmas we're, is annoying We're on the downward slope here I can't believe the year is over mm-hmm. Christmas is annoying Why? Because you have to buy lots of gifts? Yeah <laughs> That's always what your mind goes well, to is presents. <laughs> like gifts. Yes. Oh my God. I love presents. I mean, presents. that adds to it, but there's so much. There, there's so is much. Is it because more it's all a lie? Christmas. <laughs> like, there are two fake characters that involve, are involved in Christmas Ooh, White Jesus and White Santa? No, just Jesus and Santa. All of them. The black one, the white one, the Indian, the Asian one, all of them. Oh, I think Santa was a real person. Mm, Nicholas was. And Jesus yeah. was not? Awkward silence. <laughs> you know what? I, you know what? I, you are just an idiot, but you know better. Like, I, I feel as though you're not 100% sold on this doctrine. But when you come here, all of a sudden, Jesus does not exist. What? What are you talking about? Oh I don't God. believe it. I don't believe you. Are we, are, not my God. Hey. So what do you believe? What do you mean? What do I believe? What do you believe? What do you? What do you mean? What do you? I mean, what do you believe? Do I believe in Jesus. The whole thing, the all the story, every every page, right? There you go. In total, you believe? I believe. I believe. You believe he existed, or do you believe everything that they say he did? I believe he existed. Now, I believe that there's different interpretations of things, and I mm-hmm. I am able to assess on my own. But yes, I do believe. Water the wine. Yes, check or no X. <laughs> I'm going to check yes. <laughs> you just sound very confident. <laughs> no, I am. Or I'm going to check, yes. check yes. It's just because You sounded like you were going along with it. No, I'm not. I, mm-hmm. I'm not going along with it. I really believe. So that wasn't symbolic. That's just literal. Water to wine. Literal. I mean, I think that they're... they're uh, mm. See, here we go. Here's where... 
Here's where you guys lose me. You, be <laughs> fundamentalist. Like, I need you to be a, a, a fanatic. I need you to be a fanatic about this Christianity thing. No, I don't think you should be a fanatic about anything. How could you not be? The rules are the rules. You have to be a fanatic or you're going to the hot place. Are you a fanatic about atheism? No. Being an atheist? I'm not. The hot place. The hot place. (laughs) Have you seen that show on Netflix? You know how cold it is right now? I would love to be in a hot place right now. (laughs) Well, Well, hell. I can help y'all get there. Dude, it's 26 tonight, dude. I can help y'all get there. Note yourself. Let... Uh, the Lord, no, I don't want to go with Kevin. He wants to go to the hot place. That's a good, yeah. that's a good show, the good place. I think it's I think it's kind of funny. It is it is a, it is satirical. Yeah, yeah, and very funny. It is no, but seriously though, it's cool. But you need to be a fundamentalist or just stop it. Like I this middle of the road stuff. This I'm teeter tottering. I'm not teeter tottering. I feel comfortable in my thing. Now I, there are some things I don't you know agree with. Like for instance, the 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 story we were talking about earlier before the show with Dave Ramsey. And telling the, the people who don't have any money not to tithe, I agree with that. I think that people take tithing and they misunderstand, they misun- misinterpret what it's supposed to be. I don't think that you should have to only tithe with money. I think if you don't have money, you should have to tithe with whatever you have that's a sacrifice. Rewind. So you think that tithing is something that's a commandment from God? I, I, I do think you need to do good deeds to be a uh, of, of moral sound character. Like I, I tithe my time. I tithe my time. I'll do what I, I'll help a stranger. I do stuff like that, <laughs> like strangers that you later date. So, well, <laughs> like I help pretty strangers on the was, side of the road. <laughs> I mean, that was I'm one just saying, time. You can't, you no, know, but I'm just saying you you can't. Tithe but we still together. What, no, like, I'm not saying that's bad. I'm saying? saying you can't tithe or sacrifice things that are convenient to you. So, stopping only that's attractive women exactly. to help does not count. You're sir. a fraud. Does not count. You, sir, are a fraud. When is the last oh, time you oh, helped? Oh, I'm, I'm a charlatan now. <laughs> You're because a charlatan. I have snake oil. Woman. When is the What's last like, time and you this is helped from a woman. an unattractive woman that was stuck on the side of the road? We're waiting. What do you mean? When was the? What was the? When you think was, I just? You think I just traveled the highways looking for? <laughs> put your gloves. Saying, like, like that's my thing. Or shit? I'm like, just saying. When is the last time you helped a woman that was unattractive with anything? No such thing as an unattractive woman. There's a good one. But you know what? Actually, especially since uh, I started this relationship, she won't allow me. She said, I am forbidden you can no longer from help helping people. other women. Because yes. she knows how she got how you got it. That's how I, And she knows yank. you were only helping certain women. Right. That's so, no. Was her shirt tied no. in a week, little week. I was helping people who were in need. That had big asses. Not necessarily, but even though this Why'd is Atlanta, your voice go up, right? <laughs> Not necessarily. I couldn't. I can't imagine he's defensive. pulling off to the side of the road and didn't happen to notice. He did. You he know did. what I'm saying? You know, time, and he's looking his rear view like, like, oh yes, his chops. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. One help. time, because especially at night, you know, women mm-hmm. are are scarce. They're a little protective and no. defensive. No, so he's like, I remember one time uh, I was driving on the South Side of Atlanta. And I, it was late. It had to be like maybe 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. And there was this woman walking with two small children. Mm. Ma'am, do you want to ride? Mm, that's I know it's late. You can, <laughs> you, hey, just let me get you home. You don't have to just, because you don't, have you to don't do need what? to be out here at 11 o'clock at night get in? with two small kids. What, you don't have to do what? Reluctantly, she did. Mm. But you don't have to do what? What were you telling her she didn't have to do? Uh, like she don't have to like get, sit in the front seat or you know put herself in oh, danger okay. or whatever. Just I just wanted to make sure you get home with right. these children. I'm letting you know these doors the are unlocked from the inside. Absolutely. So look, no, you, I like that. That's that's good. That's good. I actually had a woman who was at Walmart begging me to take her and her son home. I was like, no, they look dirty. <laughs> and I, you know, what I'm saying that I can't trust that she's on the up and up. I'm sorry, you look <laughs> dirty, ma'am. You should clean. <laughs> Don't come to Walmart with your little kid at night to get a fucking cart. I'm talking about a buggy top, like the the the, the uh, food stamp mm-hmm. cart. Like it was completely like <laughs> two carts. Throwing out stereotypes left and, and right. I can't even dirty. catch them all. And she looked dirty. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. First of all, I didn't want whatever her house smells like to be in my car. <laughs> I just couldn't take. I couldn't. The, the, my my mind immediately flashed. Man, I bet that her house stinks. That's so pretentious. 
I don't care. Back to you though. So you're pulling over to the side of the road. Come on, man. You, at no point did you like. Ooh, I have. You mean tell me like, you've, that ain't vegan? You mean tell me you've never seen? <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah, I bet you. I, I bet you. A moment of silence for that I one. Was, that was good. That he, was good. You know, that was clever. He, <laughs> you saw it though. It, come that on, was, yeah, you have did. you been saving that one? No, you, that was good. You did though. You 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 did know, and that's, you, and that's yes. why she's forbidden. That's you why to she do got stuff. You're not stopping for everyone. No. No, no. No, I'm not stopping for everyone. You're only stopping for Sometimes things Sometimes I that... have something to do. <laughs> exactly. Shit. When they're, when they're unattractive. <laughs> Actually, I was on my way somewhere when I met her. And you stopped. You found the time. I did. I did. Because you saw... I was, I was late helping her. Exactly. Poor other, poor other chick <laughs> who was, was waiting on you to, to, to come to go to the movies or some shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, you out saving She's people. She's like, oh, like, listen, that's a shapely situation. It's a hero <laughs> truck. You're the hero truck now. See, no good deed goes unpunished, man. This is the thanks I get. What about that other girl? You should be you should be commending me and like telling other people that you, they should. It was it was be for your random own, acts it was of for kindness. Your own, for your own gain. It was for yeah. your own gain. It wasn't. It was not a sacrifice. It was not, not a true sacrifice. sacrifice. No, it paid off. That's not a do you know, sacrifice. Do you know though. how many good deeds don't pay off? <laughs> but that's only because. No, do, that's do you know not, how many times no. the good guy has stuck his neck out? To try I'm to so, help someone I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm so tired of that <sighs> narrative. No, what you mean that we, narrative? I'm tired truth. of that narrative. I'm tired it's of that narrative. It's truth. It's not it's Now not all true. of a sudden, no, you're tired of it. Oh, I'm just it's, saying, it's not true. It's, 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 it's perfect how dismissive you can be because all of a sudden. Because it's foolishness. If you stop a girl to help her and change her tire and she doesn't decide to give you her number... That's just a gamble that you took. It doesn't mean that the good guy has stuck his neck out. You stopped to change the tire with... And get an eyeful. With, exactly. And you were sitting there with the hopes. It's just game. It's just game with a little, you know... So, little, hold on, hold on. So you mean to tell grease. me your car has never stopped on you and somebody come up... That's not the point. Me, That's, irrelevant. That's not the point. How did you turn the conversation? Because at one point you were ring it, ring it, ring it. What did you say? Like, how did you, how'd you flip the whole, like... Yeah, how'd you go from, like... Excuse me, do you need some help to, hey, can I take you out later? Some spares in the like, back. <laughs> what did you, how did that happen? How did that work? No, actually, we exchanged numbers at, at the end. Like, I had already so changed the tire. She, just just in case she broke down again? What are you <laughs> fucking? Right. No, but she, she, <laughs> she said, I know you're not going to leave without my number. Oh, I said, so I said, she. I said, I know you're not going to leave without my number. Okay. Mm. That's kind of lame. You just came back with the right. same exact yeah, words. Like, I don't really. Yo, mama. <laughs> like, I know you're not going to leave without my number. I know you're not going to leave without gonna my leave. number. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Don't do that again. That's. I mean, because you already had what you wanted. Like, <laughs> right. What the? Right. You already had what you wanted. Because just... corny works. Corny works. Okay. I like corny. Then little... you're upset because mm-hmm. it doesn't always win. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Cannot be upset that I always win. So you got chose. Okay. I like that. Well, you know, he put in the work. He put yeah. in the work. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. That's You're awesome. such a hater. Did I'm you? not. No, I are. have had guys help Why me. Why your voice gets so high? Then? I'm just saying I would be concerned if I've thought about this because I have had guys stop and help me. But, you know, the years come fast, you know, and as soon, you know, in a few more years. When's the last I time stop. your car stopped? <laughs> Actually, you mean tell me you ain't never played the damsel in distress? I just said every time, but I'm, my point is, as the years go by, hard and fast, eventually More I may not have the by. same. I may not have the same. Wow, <laughs> like shakes your whole body. <laughs> <laughs> I may not have the same dimensions, and then because guys are only stopping for girls they find attractive, I may be out of luck. You need to get you a sign say new pussy, new <laughs> oh, pussy. Oh. Just... I still have not used it. Oh, I get am. out of here! I don't believe you. I have I'm on a celebrity journey. You didn't, you didn't have any know. holiday sex. I did not. I did not. I didn't even have any offers. You went back home and you. Oh. No, I. You didn't. mean tell me you didn't have a pussy plan during the holidays? I did not have a plan, and I, like you're right, I did go back home and I did see one of the guys that I had a crush on when I was young, when I was in high school, and I did kind of still, I kind of liked his vibe, but I just, you know. Not worth, not worth. No, I didn't want to come off the, the new journey. Pussy, huh? No, 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 he's definitely not worth the new. Pussy. Ain't, no, ain't no HPV in Oklahoma. Maybe not. It's probably a lot cleaner than the streets. That's here. what I'm saying. Take a shot. You gotta shoot that I shot. I could do it. I couldn't do it. So I mean, is there a way to like rekindle like a long distance old school romance? Like I was just like, it would start is this with even sex possible? If, it, if it's possible. Yeah, it wouldn't start with a, a walk down a the hay, the hay by the like, hay piles. <laughs> No one's walking by hay piles, okay? I just said, hey, how are you? 
<laughs> I mean, you you can start a textuation if you want to. I, but I just say it's very long. This, the distance is so far. Yeah, I no, just, that's really. Yeah, you're long. gonna have to go back there and fuck. Like at some point. What? That's yes. so crass how he said it, right? Isn't I felt it? dirty when he said it. I don't like it. Hey, man, you know, like, you, like I'm gonna have to go back there and do, do a, the deed right you can't there. Fuck a new pussy. That's, you, that's, wrong. that's just you wrong. don't start a long distance relationship with the intentions of not fucking. <laughs> no, that's, are you serious? That's got to be the key element. At some point, it's yeah. the whole we're going to get away. We're going to right no. lock ourselves away. The entire we're time you're away, we're going that. to be together. Right? You plan the fuck? <laughs> no, I really wasn't. I really wasn't. But um, yeah, I don't think there's a way to do it. I, I I don't see a way to do it. I can't pull it off. It's just too far. It's just too far. I'm tired even thinking about it. Well, I mean, you know, shout out to Dave Ramsey. I think that you shouldn't tithe either. I agree. That's how we got there. <laughs> That's how we got there. I just want to keep you focused. Bring it back. Just keep bring, you focused. Bring yeah. it back around. Bring no, it back no around. Reason, no reason I to tithe. I think that if, if money is your sacrifice, that you can sacrifice the money. But you know what? I think it's it's... It's crazy because Dave Ramsey's program has been taught by a lot of churches. Really? Particularly in the, the eh, financial, particularly, financial I, I think I think um, most people I think most people have like financial peace, mm-hmm, right? I think mm-hmm. most people became familiar with that or some form of it through a lot of their church programs. Mm, I I don't even I didn't even know that. But I think Dave Ramsey is also Then again, he's from Nashville and I spent some time there, of course. Yeah, so, I'm like oh, you yeah. know this. There you've was got definitely some behind the scenes. So information. that may not be nationwide. I like Dave Ramsey, but he's also kind of a pussy. How is he a pussy? Because he's not he's not creative on making money. He's creative on saving money, but that's boring as hell. Right. And like what's the next step? You're not gonna well, ever get I rich saving money. I, but I think that we have to realize the majority of people are not you know, uh, ambitious entrepreneurs. Like most yeah. people are. No, I, I agree. Yeah, most people are working a job and being able to f- fiscally manage that in a in a way that allows them to you know to have some type of wealth is is I think you're that not going to get ever. You're never going to be wealthy saving though. No, that, but you're but it's but not set but, up that but way. there are people that work a, a middle a middle um, middle class job and are able to save and be smart with their money and are able to have a lot more than people Fun that their make, retirement. And buy some nice toys. Nah, I told you every guy that I know that is that has uh, you know a regular job, a construction job. They have lots of land. They have like boats and trailers and motorcycles. I mean, I think they're able to live the life they want to live. Yeah. I think you can take a little and, and stretch it into a lot. I don't think that. I think that is dangerous for us to assume that every that everyone wants to be driven by the uh, by you know it's attaining a large financial. You know, income. So you're saying think, not everybody wants a million dollars. Right. I don't think a lot of people do. I think that you sacrifice a lot in order to, to become that. And I think there are some people that are happy with their lives. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So I think his his discipline and his 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 rhetoric is geared towards those people. Most financial, you know, um, experts are geared towards people that have an average amount of income. Not a soup, not a super amount, and they're able to effectively manage that. That's because they're, they're all they're all charlatans for real. Most most of those people are most of those people are not good at being rich. They use their who's that guy Ty? What's the name Ty? The the guy on on YouTube. Every time you come up, the white dude with the glasses. Look at this Ferrari and all these books. That guy, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. He's a piece of shit. Like that dude is That's- no no. That dude is fucking nobody. He got rich by pretending that he was somebody by showing you that those YouTube commercials. And if you do his like his, there's like all kind of like negative YouTube reviews about him saying when they got to the course or whatever, he wasn't even teaching the course. He don't know shit about real estate. Oh, he hires a, a real he's estate a expert to yeah. come in, but he's been popping like, oh, I'm this guy. Finances is my thing. Real estate, I'm a real estate guru, and he's not. He was just a faker. He's a network until marketer. He was a maker. He's a network People like marketer. fakers, but that's People most do. most of those finance. Dave Ramsey is not. He's right. the real deal. Neither is Susan. And how exciting do you want Dave Ramsey to be? You want to like Kramer, like Mad Money and shit, yelling and weird no, sound effects? I don't no, but that. I think that's my checkbook. I think there's only so much you should save, and then you have to be creative to to do something else with it. But that's, your, be witty. that's your opinion, though. <laughs> that's your opinion, though. That doesn't mean that everybody wants to do that. You know. But I mean, I, that's that's that is my opinion. But that's what I was saying. I was giving you my opinion. Sorry, well, I didn't know didn't I had ask. to come from factual, like a factual. I'm just saying, piece. like, I think there's there's going to be experts that fit every demographic. Right. He's not your, he's not your people. But 
Dave Ramsey did give me the 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 um game plan for the debt snowball thing, which absolutely okay. works. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? That's a good. That's a good. Um, that's a good point because Tammy that we had on. A, a few um, oh, months yeah. ago, she actually has some new information, and we're gonna have to have her come back on and do a special, probably like right after the top of the year, so okay. that people can kind of get their finances together. I think that's a good, like I think that people need to realize it's never too late, and you never have too little to start, you know, changing the course of your of your financial journey. But you know what? There was an announcement that they made that said that they were going, they were changing the rules and how they were looking at people's credit Mm -hmm. and measuring it. I think, and it's going to include how you behave in your bank account, as I understand. What does that mean? Um, Meaning that, I don't know, they're, they're changing the rules in a way that they're going to look at your bank account to assess your, your credit as well. Hmm. So it's not just based on your debt or your credit cards or, you know, what reports to a credit agency. The banks will be doing so as well. That'd be interesting. So, yeah, I don't know what those rules are, but I'm anxious to find out. We can ask and, Tammy about uh, that use them to our advantage. Back. Yeah, when she comes back, we can ask her about that. So moving on to a more lively topic, um, what do you guys think about the the the, <laughs> the headlines with Dwight Howard, the the... the very, very scandalous headlines that he is. Um, he has been carrying on a relationship, sexual relationship, nonetheless, with a transgender. Allegedly. I'm sorry. I mean, she has receipts. No, she doesn't. Yes, yeah, she, she has. Why are we saying she? <laughs> because that's how she identifies. Mm-hmm. My son told me that uh, pe- he, he respects people's pronouns, and I should too. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so if some... Eh. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. First of all, no. shout out to Dwight Howard. He we can't actually, just call anything a pronoun. Yeah. I mean, she is a pronoun. But no, he's saying anything, as mm. in thing being her, him. We're not calling a it's person a to thing. The facts. But but why? What's the difference? Well, we're it's not just a pronoun. Call a person a thing. No, I'm not. Call, he's a still a human being. Is, yes. Who has a penis? <laughs> shout out to Dwight Howard. Cause uh, he went to school. Shouting him out. He went to school right around the corner. Like he's a hometown guy. Like, like literally right around the corner. What does that have to do with him? Because having you got sex with men. Women? You got to shout out hometown people. Like, he, it, <laughs> he, I don't know that he had sex with anybody. What you did know is that you heard video of him talk having a conversation. Yes, but when 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 shit got real, he was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like the conversation that I heard him talking with her about was. Talking about some abstract shit. Then all of a sudden, well, Dwight, you know you wanted me to fuck in your ass. He's like, what? What are you talking like? I don't know what you're talking about. Like, get out of here. You a boy. That's what the the pastor was saying or whatever. Right. I never heard Dwight and her, and her or him talking about sex or anything. They were talking about some other stuff. The way, the way Dwight s- seems like he was saying it was... He was at a party or an event or something. They mm-hmm. met, they exchanged numbers and started talking or whatever. Then at some point, shit got real. And he's like, whoa, what? I didn't know that's what you were. Like, you knew I was a, you knew I had a dick. <laughs> like, it was that. So, so somebody's Do lying. Do it again. <laughs> so, somebody's lying. I'm not sure who it is, but to me, it's still a lich because her saying, you told me you wanted me to fuck you in the ass, is not him actually saying that. That's her saying that. Well, what about the text messages? And what about the other transgender person? Text messages can be Photoshopped. I Photoshopped so much shit in my life. I'm can talking about all kinds of shit. Photoshopped text messages? You can. You can, you can Photoshop anything. I'm, I'm, okay. When have you Photoshopped? May or may not have uh, Photoshopped some official documents before in my life. <laughs> oh my and this God. shit looked completely real. As a matter of fact, didn't I Photoshop some, sh- some shit for you one time? No. I think I did. No, honestly, you didn't. But now I'm thinking like I, I think wish you could have. It was like an apartment complex. I notarized or something. it. Huh? Somebody, <laughs> somebody, up. I, I, I uh, photoshopped some apartment complex pay stubs for an apartment complex. So it wasn't pay, me. Some pay stubs for an apartment complex because they want you to make three times the rent to live in most complexes. That wasn't me, but okay. I did not know that you had that ability to do that. But now yeah. I do. It's all over the internet. <laughs> yeah, so you can Photoshop anything. Never mind, I forgot. Crystal yeah, it's know like about what the after party? After party. Right. So, yeah, but look though, you can Photoshop anything. So those text messages could totally have been Photoshop. How they, how she made the shit flip and went to his picture and stuff. I mean his, uh, his IG and all that. All that is editable and it's not even difficult to do. But not saying that. Well, what about the part where she says, um, "Have you ever? Have you come out to your? Do you, does, your does your family know?" And he's like, "I don't want to talk about that." Why would you say I don't want to talk about that? Why wouldn't you just say? As an audio expert. 
Okay. I've edited our show and other shows to make things sound different than they sound. So you're saying that I don't the know. transgender person edited his voice, edited his, his, his text messages. I'm just saying, why would she pick Dwight Howard of all people? Maybe because she was having sex with Dwight Howard. Or maybe because people. she knows he's a little soft and she could get away with some dumb shit like that. Hadn't, hadn't that a, person had other... Um, that's what I heard as dalliances? well. Dalliances? Yeah, other instances well, I that do were know that a deemed lot of, illegitimate? I don't know that they were deemed illegitimate, but I mean... Dwight Howard is a little soft. I, I mean, he, shout out to the hometown guy. but he's, What he's, does that mean? Which one? That he's soft. He's, like, he's a little bit of a pushover. Is he? I think so. I think it's, it's, you know, Kobe didn't like him because he felt like he was kind of, you know, different. He was always kidding and joking and shit. There was that. Could uh, it be because he's gay, he's he's gay? So you're saying gay means soft? No, I'm not saying it. Oh. I'm just I'm just asking. Oh, we because going there? Okay. I, no, that's not what I'm oh, saying. That's at what I'm saying? All. Okay. I, you guys just call really transgender a thing. So I'm just saying. I if anybody, call a thing. nobody called the person. Yes, you did. Is a person you with said feelings a thing? But is, my point is this. Maybe the reason that he didn't fit into that club is because he doesn't swing for the same team. What do you mean? What club? The, with the other athletes. Maybe that's why he was a little different. So you think there aren't a lot of gay athletes? I think there are a lot, but I think they don't fit in with the other ones. I think there's something different. I think with him, um, it's it's I I have enough information to make a ruling. I do think you that think he, he's gay. I think that he's gay, and I think that it's sad that he would. Go to such lengths well, He lengths. must be t- uh, To try to hide the situation I think that No stop Stop If you're dealing with somebody Who's not supposed to be Telling your business everywhere And they right. start telling your business It's your job to go into Survival mode And cover And like cover everything down Lock everything down Because but, that Let's just say that was a woman And it was a seedy woman Or something And he was married or something <laughs> And she goes woman. out there And starts just putting All this business out there mm. Fuck her if that's a woman, fuck her. her. So if it's a dude, fuck really fuck him because you already know this shit ain't normal. Well, I think that the problem with me, to me in that situation is that there are a lot of men that are on the DL, right? I have a lot of gay friends that are sleeping with men that are acting like they're straight. So what? But my point is that lifestyle, when you put out... When you put out energy of of that is contradictory to who your authentic self is, you're going to get bad karma. People don't like the fact that you're Who's sleeping real? with them. Who's mm. real? Who the hell is real? Nobody nobody walks outside without a mask on. Nobody. But that's no extreme I'm not, case. I'm not upset at anyone for having a private life. All right? I do feel like the like being exposed in that manner is tough. That's is tough, malicious. Right. It's it's the same thing we say when people. Uh, it's a cr- I think it should be a crime like revenge porn, right? Because you're maliciously exposing someone. Like, like okay, this person didn't have a video, but the text messages and the audio recording they definitely share mm, their sexual. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that that's. Mm, I don't think it's I revenge porn, and I don't think I don't necessarily think revenge porn should be illegal because I feel like if you. Showed your goodies to this person, you know, you have to acknowledge that what that person does with it after so if, that. It, so, if you send me new pics, I can show them. I would assume that you would. And I would send great ones so that everybody that saw them would be like, oh, that's awesome. I would just make sure I send awesome pics. You would assume? Yeah, you, you, have, you have to assume it's going out. But here's Thank my you. thing, Crystal. Every time guys send pics, we show them. Be honest, though. Be honest. Okay? I am. No, no, be honest I about this next question. I I'd forward them out. Do do you have a personal agenda? And by, by you, I mean most women. Mm-hmm. Do you have a personal agenda to have guys that are on the DL exposed because you feel like they're wronging women? I think that a lot of women have that agenda in mind. I don't have that agenda at all. But I do think it's just like a, a married man that's sleeping with a woman that's not married and she gets tired of it and she exposes him. You have to assume that if you are in a position of power and this other pres- person is... They're allowing you to use them. Eventually, those tables are going to turn. I think that married men always get exposed by their single mistress. Right. I think that men that are on the DL, um, I have a friend that's gay, and he he sleeps with guys that are on the DL, and then they tell him, when I see you in public, we can't speak. Right. And eventually, the other person gets tired of being treated like that, and they not rebel. Fair. That's not fair that you compared those two things. So a guy Why? Is, it's the same no, thing. No, a guy is cheating on his wife. So there's something else going on there than a guy who's not comfortable being gay. Yeah, exposing a person is doing is, wrong. No, but my point is, if you are living a lifestyle, and I'm okay with that lifestyle, but you and I are the same, but you don't want anyone to know that you're like me. Then don't deal with that It's person. insulting. 
No, then you shouldn't deal with that person. It's, it's no different than a married man that shouldn't have a that shouldn't cheat with a single woman. That's and not you don't the have same. to deal with that person. Yeah. And, and what it happens is. a I lot think of in times in both those cases, you don't have to deal with that and person. And what happens in a lot of times in relationships that one person st- crosses a line, the mm-hmm. other person says, Hey, I don't wanna I don't wanna continue with right. you anymore. Right. And then the other person is upset. Now, if you can handle that in a a, a, a civil fashion. Then cool. Emotions but are if, never civil, though. Emotions mm, are never civil. And yeah, usually, but, you, but you don't have to go to such lengths to. I, I think that what this person did. There are against, no rules. Like in I think love Dwight and war. Howard just got me too. There, there are no rules in love and war. There are no rules in love and war. So people's emotions get involved. Anytime you're having sex with someone, you're in a in a relationship of some type. Of people's course, there emotions are, rules. are going to get. That's why it goes wrong. Of no, course, there, there are, no are rules. rules. There are no rules in love. No. Because those, if there are no rules, then why <laughs> when people break them, then they, it doesn't work? The point is, anything can happen because when you're dealing with people's emotions, it's hard to tell your, your emotions are not rational. Why do people kill? Why, why, is, why are crimes of passion not judged as harshly as um So if Dwight killed this bitch, then... Oh, now, it's a, now there's a pronoun. <laughs> I don't know if... Yeah, but a dude can be a bitch. <laughs> there's a bitch. A dude can Some be a bitch. Some of these niggas is bitches too. They are. Um, I mean, crimes of passion. Like you trying to expose is like, come on. I do think. I think mm-hmm. it's unfortunate. That's corny. Now that's corny. I think that I wish that he felt comfortable enough to be who he really is. You don't know that he's not being who he is. I wish. I stand by my statement that I wish that he was comfortable enough to be who he really is. What if is. he is who he is? He who he is is somebody who who likes women, but he likes dudes too, and he don't want everybody to know about that. Why can't well, he have that? There is something ironic about uh, because gay people have a, a thing where, like the the coming out of the closet, letting mm-hmm. everybody know, mm-hmm. right? Like there's this this this. It's seen as a courageous thing, and they want to be accepted on a certain level right. in society, right? But the 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 very thing they want is also the crime that they commit. By it's it's courageous if you do it yourself, but it's it's hurtful if you do it to someone else. They did the the, the similar thing happened with Bobby V. Right? Did it not? Right. People wanna they they try to expose Bobby. We got you, Bobby. Right. Is that- I mean, you can't. You. I'm not. I don't feel sorry for that. No. What? And that was, it's weird, but if it happened to a woman, you feel sorry for him. If it was a woman, you'd feel sorry for her. No. You I would. You yeah, absolutely would. would. Yeah, you that would. is not true. That is not true. If you are living a lie, if a woman was cheating on her husband, or, I think I think because those people are gay, you give them less I humanity. Don't, I don't. I'm saying even if a, if a woman was cheating on her husband or if a woman was gay and Cheating on her husband with another woman, and she was exposed. I I feel like that's fair. Well, let me ask that you a question. person is being deceived. That's not fair. Let me ask you a question. Because of uh, most people, I, and I may be one of those people. I don't know if I want my basketball players to be gay. And <laughs> what? I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know that I want that. And most people may feel the same way. So my thing is. Do you think that even if this is going to fuck somebody's livelihood up, it's still okay just because he's not willing to be honest? His livelihood is going to is going to be affected. Michael Sam, where does he where does he play? <laughs> you know, he, I, I've never seen I've never even seen gay people in a Michael Sam jersey. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's funny. You see what I'm saying? His livelihood is going is going to be affected. They already mm-hmm. thought he was kind of soft and a pushover, and the time he was on the bench and he hit Isaiah Cannon in his dick or whatever, and like he giggled. He, he hit him in a dick. You didn't see that? You saw Dwight that. Howard did. Yeah, yeah. Dwight Howard did that on the bench. He mm-hmm. was play, he was playing like you know how white people playing like do nut the checks. Clips have resurfaced. He did something like that to Isaiah Cannon on and the bench. And we're saying that he's not gay. I, Hold on, but Hold Isaiah on. acted. His body language is as if he saw it coming. Right. He kind of yeah did one of like those. he's used like, to that. Like he's, he's used yeah. to Dwight always. Playing. Like with my dick. He's the one in the gym that's always playing too much grab ass. And but I'm saying like, yeah, does that that's... happen? Are you guys grabbing? No, ass? no, 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 like no. It's like that not. white joke where you nut check or something. That's like white stuff. I know nobody does that. But do white you do people, it? No, no. That's that's way too white for me. Okay. <laughs> white, white people are more comfortable with gay stuff. They are. They they play differently. But but what I'm saying is though. So you still think it's okay, even if it fucks up his livelihood? First of all. Is a nut check for you to make sure that the person still has testicles? No, it's just no. to make you feel uncomfortable because that's gay. <laughs> that's oh my that's god, it. that is right. so weird. And the more uncomfortable you are with somebody nut checking you, the funnier it is to all the the, the white guys around. I'm <laughs> serious. I don't know. 
Why people do like? I remember when we when I was in the military, we went to a school in San Diego, and the first weekend we got to wear civilian clothes and leave the base, mm-hmm. and we had done this in weeks and weeks and weeks since boot camp. Mm-hmm. Um, this guy named Ford. Sorry to throw your name out there, <laughs> homie, but uh, Ford got too drunk at the hotel, mm-hmm. and he was he was hanging with nothing but white dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like there was, he's black. Fell asleep. And he, and he fell asleep, and they all pulled their dicks out and put them right by his face, and took pictures and photocopied it. And I mean, from the picture, it looks like it maybe it touched somebody's somebody's head to touch. <laughs> and so there are five white dudes with their dicks all out together. That's kind of hetero. I mean, uh, homo uh, something. Friendly. You know? Yeah. At the very Clearly. Least. And then it's by his face. <laughs> but that's a joke. They they thought it was hilarious. <laughs> and what did you say? I was like, that's fucked. Nah, I'm fucked getting court martialed. Yeah, that's no. fucked up. Yeah, somebody got to die. If I if I recognize somebody, pull your pants down. For no fuck that. This time I want to see your dick. Like that. That's that's crazy. No, no, no. I... No, but they play like that. What I'm saying, <laughs> Evan is uncomfortable right now. No, but what I'm saying is though is this this exposing Dwight Howard fucks up his livelihood. So it's not just about being I'm gay or bisexual saying. or whatever. This is his kid's life. This is his fam- the people that he takes care of and supports life. Everybody who's involved in the Dwight Howard bubble, right. the shit just burst. But I think that's just a, a casualty of war. I think the same thing happened with How can Bill- you be so cold? I'm not cold. Bill Clinton had Bill Clinton his his indiscretion became a national conversation and almost got him impeached from the presidency. And you don't think that that messed up his No, because he wasn't gay. And you know that I mean I hate I hate that, think that I hate was, that in twenty eighteen he was almost impeached because nah, so of what? an affair. No, but but he's now, so is, is that why is that why Monica Lewinsky wants an apology now? She wants an apology because she was young and easily uh, misguided. Fuck Monica Lewinsky and this transsexual. That's this is ridi- this is ridiculous. I'm not giving credit to this. I just feel like as a straight woman, I want to know. If a man is sleeping with men Damn. as well. And I asked earlier and she said, no, no, but no. But I don't have an agenda. This is, it is your agenda. I try to make You're sure that scorned. I don't sleep with guys. I am not, I've never I Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta I don't has scorned believe. you. <laughs> Atlanta but has scorned you. I do think you. that you're assessing a level of humanity based on the sexuality. That's not true. I want to know if a man is cheating, period. <sighs> but especially if he's cheating with a man. And why is it different? Why is it heightened? Yeah, why like, does that make your antennae go up? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cheating is cheating, is it not? It is. No, it is. no, no. I, if, if he's cheating with a woman, I I feel like, okay. But if I, he's cheating with a guy, you're homophobic, so you I can't feel, do I'm it. I'm not homophobic, you but are. I just feel like he you doesn't are. want to... I don't if want to sleep. If a dude sleeping, told you something, think you're not kissing me, him. I, I'm definitely not kissing him. You're homophobic. Him. But, I, but I think that it is because... He is only sleeping with me because he feels like that is what he's supposed to do. Not because he enjoys it. He really enjoys sleeping with men. No, women suck dicks all the time. We still kiss y'all. But you know what? A, a, a gay what? man is Women not- suck dicks all the time and we still kiss y'all. But what does that have to do with so me that, kissing this a man? Dude, if he sucked a dick before and you kiss him, like, what, what's wrong with you? Like, What kind <laughs> because, of homophobe are you? Because, because a gay man, <laughs> in a woman's eyes, a gay man is not manly. Of course. And really, the real people that gay people should be pissed off at is fucking women. Dudes women are who police We that, don't for give real. a fuck. I don't care if, if somebody is gay. I'm not going to treat you differently. So if you're a male, if you guys are not dating, but if you're a guy and you're dating women, you're okay with the fact that these bisexual, on the down low men are sleeping with women that you're sleeping with. Like, you're, you're, everybody's in the same pool. What's the difference? But when, women are discriminatory in that manner. A, a woman will, if, if, oh, speaking as a black man... Okay, if a woman finds out that you have either slept with a white woman or a man, most guys I've dated have slept with white a lot. Women. A lot of and black men. women, a lot of black <laughs> women will not will will consider you. But nope. my point is, we I don't want to sleep and they'll with tell a man their friends that do sleeps the same. with men, and I have a right not to do that. And if you take that right away from me, I'm not happy, and I don't want my shit exposed. And if you take that right away from me, then. You see what I'm saying? It's the well, same it's shit. Well, gonna be exposed. Exactly, and you're gonna sleep with dudes that fucked other dudes because you're in Atlanta. It's your gay ass. <laughs> <laughs> Count back. I know. I know. It's one or two of your history. Like, oh, damn, Tyrone. His name could go gay or other way. That was he was the gay Tyrone. She did look at you like she was sending a like message. She was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, I, how many how many bodies? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm how not many doing bodies it. could have been potentially gay? Six, 
How <laughs> what? Six L. It's Atlanta. <laughs> Come on, man. L no. According to y'all, everybody's gay in Atlanta. Everybody's not, in the down I low. I do that. hate that though. I, I hate that I hate shit. those memes, and it's yeah. always somebody Meanwhile, in Atlanta. That shit. And somebody <laughs> said, I think it's true. Ninety nine percent of men in Atlanta are gay and have herpes. <laughs> <laughs> it's always some shit like that, yo. Like. The fuck? Well, according to the stats, at least oh, 90% please. of Amer- of Atlanta has herpes. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. I, I So wait a minute, it's three of us in this room and we're in Atlanta. That's that means two of us. It it, it damn near means three. Oh yeah, basically it's all of us. Whatever. Um <laughs> <laughs> there was no punchline for that one. Ah, it's fucked up. Cause uh, <laughs> which one of y'all <laughs> I would say which one of y'all But it's gotta be both of y'all So it's like damn The stats are the stats just, That's I why just, I think all that bullshit is not true It's not man. true I uh, just missed no. that shit It doesn't What? Yeah, Cause it's 90% If they had said 100% I'm like it's all three of us But that means y'all Shut too up. herped up no, well, <laughs> well, well first of all The house is what well, <laughs> Wait, was that was that the sound effect for the bumps? Yeah, bump, 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 bump. <laughs> First of all, your significant others in the house as well. So yeah. you you joined us. Oh, well, no, we're not talking about this room. We're talking about the podcast room. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Now let's throw in the rest of the people in the house. There's some dogs in the house. Maybe dog, can dogs have herpes? <laughs> I don't think so. Um, not transmitted from humans. I just I don't like that you're the person that you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't. No, I don't. I don't like that you're. Do you want Dwight Howard to get like? No, you like serious? want the crunch. Like you really like this crunch. I want the crunch. You do. You want this shit to hurt. You no, want, I don't. I don't. I really I feel don't. Like you I, do. I think I'm. I'm saddened for him. Um, but I, I am. But I think you believe that. that did she sell that one? No, you don't sound sad. But I'm just saying, when you live a lie, lies come out. Everybody lies. No, that's pity. That's pity. I that's I just what, think that pity. everybody, everybody get. I mean, that's it comes out like. You, you know, think that pretending to be a straight man is a bigger lie than cheating on your spouse? I want everything to come out. Okay, let it all hit the fan. Okay, everything. I I. I I don't like it to come out like this. I want, like I said, I want. I mean, my I don't, ba- I don't, I don't like to see someone hurt. His, but, but his basketball career, if if this continues, it's, it's was over. he still playing? Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. yes, it's over though. His career is oh, nobody's like the the ridicule he's. I don't believe get. that. Let's, but you know what? No, 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 no. He he was actually on injured reserve for a, a gluteal injury. Yeah, right. That's that didn't help. That didn't help. This is at the same time as this person. And the internet is... never loses. No, like, never. No. That's ever. what I'm saying. His, his shit got, is over. Yeah, man. No, fact, I know. I had a, I had a screenshot. <laughs> his shit is over with. Actually, let me not do that because yeah, I'm, you I'm on 1%. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on 1%. <laughs> you got to love Kevin. You got to love it. You got to love it. So, okay, on a brighter note, I saw one of the most amazing displays of love. Uh, and relationship goals that I've ever seen. Oh, God. There is a meme going around of a picture of a guy that is proposing to his fiance, his new fiance, his girlfriend, and he pulls out a, a, a jeweled display of six engagement rings, different shapes and sizes, for her to pick which one she wants. And I, I'm just going to say this. I always want to be with a guy that makes me feel like a princess. This is the guy who has discovered the solution to making us feel like a princess. That is amazing. I love it. She's selling her soul. What do you mean? What are you talking about? She gets to pick the ring that she wants. How many rings did he choose? Six. Stop it. You stop it right now. You stop turning something beautiful into something ugly. What I'm saying is this. The thing is, you (laughs) go. Hello, kettle. (laughs) you, You go. You go. You You want the guy to propose with the perfect ring. But nine times out of 10, 10 times out of 10, he won't get it 100% right, right? But you don't want to tell him. You don't want to seem like a controlling alpha female and say, let me go with you to pick out the ring because I know you're not going to pick the ring. You want it to be a surprise. So this guy has found a way to surprise you and deliver exactly what you want by giving you options. Did he it's, buy six or did he have it set up to where he could? I think he had six on loan. The jeweler was probably nearby. <laughs> <laughs> or in the bushes. <laughs> right. Like, nigga, if you run. I got, we got you on the scope. But, How old is this, this 
gentleman. I don't know. I don't. I'm just saying that I think it because there was another. There was, was he a, on his way to jail? There was a question <laughs> posed. He was going to jail. Does it? If you love a guy and he asks you to marry him, is it important? Is the ring? The type of ring he gets important, and I said yes because if he loves me, he should he should want to make me happy, I almost and fell he should for it. pick the ring that makes me smile. I almost fell for it. What do you mean? Me and you talked about this when I proposed to my wife. We did. And you wanted me to do three months' salary. That is the that is that is what it's supposed to be. That is not what how, she got. How good of a friend am I? I'm trying to lead you down the right path. No, you're not. Actually, it's two months. You need salary, Dave Ramsey. But I wanted you to yeah. stretch yourself. That's what That's wild, though. It's not wild. That's wild. So over three happiness. months, I can't pay rent. Three months. No, I, no, 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 no. You are a person that has three months on reserve. Right, but what I mean, but that's in the long run, that's rent or that's. Car notes. You don't have it on reserve. You just spent it <laughs> on a fucking ring. No, she's saying that a person shouldn't extend themselves. They should already. Yeah, they should prepare. Not, I'm not asking you not to pay rent for the next two months. Duh. I'm saying prepare for your queen. And so, what's so romantic? The fact that he was willing to give her the choice. Yes. But I thought women want to be led. I want you to give me choices of fabulousness <laughs> for me to pick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest here. I'm being honest. I want to be able to pick what I want, but I want you to have narrowed it down to some fabulous options, and then I can pick. So that makes me feel like you really just want to make me happy. So the marriage part of it, me being with you forever, is not what makes you happy. It's the choice of in addition to a and this princess is a symbol cut from, of that. From an Asher cut. This is a pe- uh, this is a, a symbol of that. What's the new? What's the trendy cut right now? I don't care what the trendy cut is. I know what cut I. What cut do you like? You know, if you look closely, you can you can like see the glitter in her eyes. Right, I do, but I'm just saying, princess cut. And I, I would like it to be the entire band to be. Oh, all diamonds. Yeah, diamonds around the band. Spare no diamond. Spare no diamond. I mean, I because I I just think it's whack to have just the ring sitting up there and then the the plain band. Oh yeah, because that's too much gold or platinum, right? Fuck that. I just want diamonds around. I yeah. just think it's, and I think I would like the baguettes to surround the solitaire. So traditionally, that's more of an anniversary band with the diamonds all around. But you're saying you no, want a 360. They're now, they're now uh, that's, that's, of course they, of course now way. they are because women. And the baguettes sur- surround the solitaire. Right, right, right. Awesome, princess cut, fella. So if you're trying to, new, hey, new, it's, new, it, hey, it's, it's new, new, it's new, it is new. The how much, is, how much does diamond have to be for the new, new? Well, it, it's not a number. No, it it's is. Not a number. No, it definitely. I guarantee no, you. In a, a second, we're gonna get to your number. It's so we're gonna play around with it right now. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. All right. So yeah. Right. So tell me what it is, and it's not numbers. What? A carrot. I mean, it's, it's got to be. Oh, that's such, a number. It's got to be. That's but, a but fucking carrot and, and a food. But so you know a carrot will get some new pussy. No, not one carrot. I'm just saying carrot. How many carrots? We can. <laughs> you know how much a carrot costs. I do a real carrot, not no bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want crumbs? You, right, that, equal like, a, a carrot eventually. Like, like you want, you want about two carrots because mm. you want the solitaire and then you want the the rest of the the diamonds. What's to, two carrots? See, going now for we're now? upside down on the because <laughs> pussy isn't worth a, a, a carrot is. You know, well, not, but pussy not, is pretty low. It's fucking it's rabbit. Pussy. Oh. it's not pussy. It's it's the and it's first of all. I don't understand why men have a problem. If this makes her happy and she makes you happy, then right. we're in. We're the two should agree. It's synergy, right? It is. It's not. It is. Not. I interviewed two of the. I don't know if you guys have seen Own TVs. Own has a new dating show called Ready to Love. No. No. Okay, so it's a dating show, and I had two of the two of the the, the daters on my show at Rolling Out yesterday. I asked each of them a question. I said, and I'll ask you guys to finish this. So I asked the girl. Finish the sentence. He was amazing because, right? And I asked the guy, she was amazing because, right? So I was trying to figure out what is it about a man or a woman, if you're straight, right? That makes the other person fall in love with them or makes them feel home, right? Makes them feel like that's who they would want to be with all the time. And the, now this is not good for my plight, but I'm just sharing it because I'm objective, okay? Oh, sure. Oh, you're objective. So, of course I am. So, the girl, I said, he was amazing because, and she immediately said, because he was all about me. <laughs> and then I asked the guy, well, you know, she was amazing because, and he was like, because she understands me. So, ergo, if... He's excited because she understands him and he's all about her. Perfect situation. Could you have said, is she amazing first? 
Because maybe he just no, had to give no, you no, something. No, no, no. This was, it wasn't about each other. It's like, like the last lives. person that you were in love with. You got to fill it with something. No, the last person that you were in love with, what made them amazing? That's what oh. it was like. That Not about the current person. The person that you think of when you think of when you were in love, what made them, just finish the sentence, she was amazing because. No. Do it. Do it, be honest. No. Why? Because you're not, you're not doing this to me. <laughs> you're not, nice try. Go ahead, Kevin. Why do women always do that? They're like, I, I want you to take this questionnaire. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, take a fucking This is recorded. Oh I, God. I, I, I Yo, might, are you serious? I might stumble when I say it. Next thing you know, be like, he didn't mean that shit. It's, a, it's always going to be something. Like, nope. I'm I good. always want you to do the, the sweet nothings, the, the game Olympics. Right. We are married. Yeah. That's give, how give amazing Give me your hottest are. line. 16. Okay, well. whack. Yay. Whatever. See through that shit, man. Right, good try, though. That's, that's nice. Come on, Kevin. Come on, Play. be a sport. Man. <laughs> How about no? See, he would have did it if you didn't do that. It's How my you... fault. Yes. Because oh, really? he's, 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 he's a killjoy. He's a killjoy. Oh. She was amazing. Don't be a because... killjoy. Why he he was amazing because No, I'm not doing it oh, because I'm not the only one that's not If you do, do it, it, then Kevin will do it. No, no, he won't. It's because of no, you. No, I, I will. I'll do it for you. I don't there believe you. Now. You go first. He was amazing because I don't believe you, Kevin. I don't I don't have an example. Show me how it's done. <laughs> he was amazing because no, he's gonna try to leave me out in the cold. No, not doing it. Anyway, you guys just ruined what could have been a real bonding moment. Okay? Mm. It could have been a real bonding moment with all of us sharing a little bit about the you know what? What love means to us? Yeah, yeah. What are we sitting in a circle? Like what? <laughs> Actually, we are a half circle. Kind of. Yeah. The camera makes the other side of the circle. Should we hold hands? <laughs> well, sometimes if we're about to eat, we should definitely hold hands. Or pray to fake Jesus. <sighs> like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> it's back Ooh. like it never left. <laughs> <laughs> Back like and we're getting never so gone. close to Jesus' birthday. It's fake Jesus' birthday. So is it fake Jesus' birthday or Jesus' fake birthday? Like, share, and subscribe. Nobody really believes it's that's Jesus' birthday, right? It's Yeshua. Music love life.